So hello guys, uh, I'm back again with another system I've made. So this is what we'll be doing as we progress. So in the next tutorial, this, this is what we'll be creating. So the block system, that's just a simple system I just created, it's the back end of a block system. So what we'll be doing is we'll be trying to recreate this, yeah. So let me show you a little bit how it works. So this is what we'll be doing. So you can add a category over here. So you can add a name, category name, maybe category yeah then submit that and over here you can view users so when the blog as we are continuing we'll be creating this we'll be removing the password because we don't need to see that so and also we'll be creating the cards because right now I don't have the cards so here we have the web details so this is what we'll be having in the bag so for you to have the name of the website in the front end, you just create a, a query that will be fetching the website name and then create a function that will display it anywhere in the front end where you want. So website name, tagline, also you can upload an icon and also keywords, show description, detailed description, banner text, one up to four, the email address and the email address, email address, phone and so this is where you copy your Google Apps links or anything like that. So these you just know where you need to add these. Maybe in the footer, somewhere on the sidebar, I don't know. And also we have uh, social media links. So these are the links to Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Just name it, you know where you have to add it. So these are the comment scripts. If you need to use Dribbble or Facebook script for comments or anything like that. And we also have the media carousel right so you can add it yeah so these are daytime and also you can view the carousel settings so these are the settings you just need to be a little bit creative with what you'll be doing in the front end so you can set an image limit to then here you can do something like call md uh, don't worry something like call md anything like that so then we'll be having images you upload your images here this is also a daytime then videos then you have the editor's choice here so what I did with the editor's choice as I said you just have to be creative so for the editor's choice you just need to create a query that to check if you have selected the editor's choice so for the blogs if we add the blogs here for example let's add a little bit of a blog let's call it test then there's an add image. Add an image here. Uh -huh. All right. Category name. Let's give it uh, category name. This also we have to do a lookup. So having said that, so but you can just give it a category name. Then you give it to a phone content. You can just add anything you want here. Just any date you want. Alright. Oh, well, you're just going to give it. Alright, so try and submit that. Okay, so this is what we have. So when you come to the editor choice, this is what you'll be having over here. You have the, uh, the option to check from the test you created. Then you can submit that. So what you have to do is that you'll be just checking which blog was se selected and then you just create a query that will fetch the whole of the blog and put in the front end. So in the registration, this is just where you have all the things. So like I said, we will be eliminating this. We don't want this to be viewable. We just need the username and phone number and the load. And also as we are doing the tutorial, we'll be creating a front end like the dashboard of the system and that will be all. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. See you in the next class.